Here is an exam style question on implicit differentiation involving tangents and normals. Figure 2 shows a sketch of the curve C with the equation y cubed minus x squared plus 4x squared y equal k, where k is a positive constant greater than 1. Part A, find dy the dx in terms of x and y. Please pause the video, have a go at part A and then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. So the implicit equation is y cubed minus x squared plus 4x squared y equal k. To differentiate this, I need to use implicit differentiation. Firstly, I'm going to apply d over dx on both sides. So I've got d over dx of y cubed minus x squared plus 4x squared y equal d over dx of k. Now I'm going to use term by term differentiation. Let's begin with the first term over here. y cubed differentiates to 3y squared. Because it's a y term, I need to stick in dy over dx. The second term differentiates to minus 2x. In the third term, we have a product of two terms, 4x squared multiplied by y. So to differentiate this, I need to use the product rule. And the product rule is u v dash plus v u dash. Okay, so I can write plus u v dash plus v u dash equal. The k differentiates to zero. So my u is 4x squared and my v is y. So u dash differentiate 4x squared, this gives me 8x. v dash differentiate y, you get 1 multiplied by dy over dx, which is just dy over dx. Okay? So I can substitute all of that back into here. I've got 3y squared dy over dx minus 2x plus uv dash, that will be 4x squared multiplied by dy over dx plus vu dash y multiplied by 8x which is 8xy equal 0. I'm going to keep all the dy over dx's on one side and all the additional terms I'm going to take it to the right hand side. So I've got 3y squared dy over dx plus 4x squared dy over dx equal 2x minus 8xy. I can take out a common factor of dy over dx. I can factorize the left hand side. Okay, so inside the bracket I've got 3y squared plus 4x squared. So my dy over dx is equal to 2x minus 8xy all over 3y squared plus 4x squared. So this is the dy of dx in terms of x and y. This completes part A of the exam style question. Moving on to part B of the exam style question. The point P lies on C. Given that the normal to C at P has equation y equal x as shown in figure 2, find the value of k. Please pause the video, have a go at part B and then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part B. In the question we are told that the line y equal x is a normal to the curve C at the point P. So if I was to draw a tangent to the curve C at the point P, it has to be perpendicular to the normal. I'm going to start by writing y equal x is the normal to C at P. This implies that the gradient of the normal to C at P is equal to 1. The coefficient of x is 1. This in turn implies that the gradient of the tangent to C at P has to be the negative reciprocal of 1, which is minus 1. Okay? Again, this implies that dy over dx is equal to minus 1 at P. And we know that y is equal to x at p. This is because curve C and y equal x intersect at p. Okay, so this is looking nice. Now I'm going to proceed forward. I know that the dy over dx was calculated in part A. It is this one over here. So I can write down 
2x minus 8xy over 3y squared plus 4x squared is equal to minus 1 and we know that y is equal x. So these two conditions are satisfied at p. So I can substitute y equal x into that particular equation. So I've got 2x minus 8x multiplied by x over 3x squared plus 4x squared equal to minus 1. So I'm going to simplify this. I get 2x minus 8x squared all over 7x squared equal to negative 1. Take the 7x squared to the right hand side and then take all the terms to the right hand side. So we have that 0 is equal to x squared minus 2x. Solve this via factorization. Work out the two solutions. These are x equal 0, x equal 2. Nice. Solid. Okay. Now at p, x is more than 0. Hence, we must accept x equal 2. Now to work out the value of k, we're going to substitute x equal 2 back into this equation. Before I do that, I know that y is equal x at p. So when x is 2, y is also 2. So I can substitute y equal 2 back into this equation with x equal 2. So I've got 2 cubed minus 2 squared plus 4 lots of 2 squared multiplied by 2 is equal k. And so if I calculate this, I get k equal 36. So this completes part B of the exam style question and this teaching video. If you found the teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.